Hey guys, in this session we will discuss one of the most common stack based problem verifying balanced parentheses in given expression. So most commonly known brackets are as shown here three types are there and we use these three common types to build any expression. So as part of this session we need to we need to evaluate given expression is valid or not. So what is valid expression? So there is an example here. This is valid expression because all the opening and closed brackets were placed properly. So in the second case, this is invalid. The reason is the opening and closed brackets were misplaced. We can give any pairs, any number of pairs of brackets to construct the expression. In this case, this is valid. And in the last case, this is invalid because only one opening bracket present here and its pair is missing. So this is invalid. To address this, we will take a stack. Our approach here is any opening bracket we see, we will push it to stack any closing bracket we encounter we pop one element from the stack compare to the current element in the iteration and make sure that they both are making pair or not if it is continued and at the end stack is empty it's a balanced expression if not it's unbalanced expression so now let's take this as a reference. This expression will be passed as a string. We will iterate character by character. Now during the first iteration, we will get this character. Since it's an opening brace bracket, I'll push to the stack. In the next iteration, I'll go to the second character, which is again opening bracket. I'll push to the stack. The third character is closing one whenever we encounter a closing bracket we need to push we need to pop one character out of stack so now we will pop this so when i pop this both are making pair so i'll continue to next iteration and i will get this character so in this case again it's, op it's a closing bracket. I will pop one element out of the stack and this is also making a pay. Now we are out of, it, out of the loop and stack is empty. We will return yes because it's a balanced one. Nothing left in the stack. Now we'll consider this example. So first in first iteration, we'll get opening bracket, we'll push to the stack. In the second iteration, again, we'll get opening bracket, we'll push to the stack. Third iteration, we are getting a closed bracket and we will pop out one element from the stack, which is this one. And these are not making a pair. So I'll return it is it's not a balanced expression. So I'll return no here. Let's write a code and see how we can address this. Create new class, balanced expression. We'll create a static map to hold uh, all pairs of brackets and these are going to be characters now i'll write a static block to populate data into the map map dot put uh, 
I'm adding all the pays into the map. We'll write a method, static method, which returns string either s or no validate expression. It takes an input as a string, which is expression. So now, as a first step, what we do, uh, one blind thing is, given expression should have even numbers because it should have always a pair of brackets. So it must be even. In case the length is not even, then by default I can say that it's not balanced expression. So if expression percent two double equal to one, it's not balanced. Return no. Expression dot length, sorry. Now we'll iterate through the string, given string, read character by character, and we will put it into a stack and we'll perform a couple of operations to validate it's, it's valid or not. So let's define a stack. Now for i equal to zero, so we got character array and we are iterating through each element. Now, what we do, we will compare. Just notice that all opening braces are part of key. So now if map dot contains key and if it is C, then we'll push to stack. Anytime we encounter any opening brace bracket, we'll push to stack. If not, else if If stack is empty, see the reason is we need to pop. If it is not opening bracket, definitely it must be a closing bracket. When you encounter any closing bracket, you must do pop. So if we have to do pop, there must be at least one element exists in the stack. In case the stack is empty, then it is invalid expression. Stack dot is empty or stack dot pop and gets its uh, matching pair from map map dot get is double equal to character c so here when we pop we'll get one of the opening bracket and using the opening bracket, we are trying to get its uh, paired closing bracket and we are trying to compare with the character in the current iteration. If they are not matching, we will say return no. In any other case, all we need to do is is stack empty. In case stack is empty, we have evaluated all the all, all the characters and its order, opening bracket and closing bracket position, and it's perfectly fine. 
it's a balanced expression so if stack dot is empty then return yes else return no let's write a main method to test this we'll call validate expression we'll give some input like very simple input and we'll print the output system dot out dot println now let's run and see is it a valid expression or not it says it's a valid expression so now let's modify this i'll give only one opening bracket at the end it says it's not valid now i'll add one more i'll make little complex here but i'm making sure that it's valid and running again we expect yes yeah it's valid now i'll introduce or i'll misplace one of the bracket here let's run and see the expected answer should be no so it's no thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel